Hey guys, it's Swishy, and after four long years, Roblox finally dropped another egg hunt. And after the enjoyable journey and challenge 2018 and 2019 events brought, there was a lot of high hopes for this event. And I was joined on that bandwagon. I was excited and ready for some fun. And all of that hope was quickly smashed into oblivion, just like the soul of my heart. <laughs> There's nothing there. Um, originally, I had a entirely different video plan, honestly, where I would post a guide on how to find everything with my sister. A little bit of fun, happiness, being able to give some help out there to the community. And we shortly realized, um, wow, this is horrendous. <laughs> the quality of this, of this event just pales in comparison to that of the previous years. Along with this, a guide to this event is rather pointless, as there is no hunt in the hunt, okay? This is just repetitive and tedious quests for some smaller reward over and over again. It is awful, okay? And then when you first go on, you see the game, you see the high ratings and the high amount of players are active. You think, okay, it's promising. This is promising. And then you click it, you see the nice loading screen. You're like, okay, I'm getting hype. I'm getting amped up. Can't wait. It's been so long for some fun. And then countless numbers of portals surround you with a giant clock countdown above your head, incentivizing you to get your butt moving, and you do, okay? You jump into that nearest portal, ready for an adventure, decide to have some fun, you complete that quest, you're like, okay, okay, and you jump in the next one, and then the next one, and then the next one, and then the next one, and you're like, wow, this is awful. <laughs> you realize just how horrendous this all is, and your only reward for going into each of those things is just the batch. A little badge for some of the most repetitive and boring quests in the in the world, okay? And while I do enjoy a badge here or there, all right, the free special edition items that you earn with all this effort are really what I'm after. And so, uh, what else does this event offer? You stop giving those quests, you explore the main hub, you look around, you find this giant sign saying, instead of 800 Robux, all of this is free. All you need to do is have this costume. You're like, oh sweet, so you click the costume and holy moly, it gives you a prompt saying, this is more Robux than what you can buy in one setting. And you're like, okay, weird. So I went ahead, looked up how much this guy is. He's a whole, a whole smoking 29,000 Robux for this character. 29,000. Although, I feel I look rather cute as a core blocks deaf speaker. I might be non-human, as they say. <laughs> All jokes aside, put this in perspective, really. It costs around $200 for 22,500 Robux. So, this guy is well over $200, which, um, quite the disgusting and shady advertisement to make kids bleed their parents dry or else suffer from their eternal screens because they didn't get their 800 gold robux items for quote unquote free. The hunt is bad, beyond bad, it's a horrible bland event that it's all about getting money with no creativity. I was expecting fun challenges, hunt, like an actual hunt, puzzles, you know, and no, there's nothing. Now, the idea for exploring games on Roblox is not inherently a bad idea. There's some good that can come from it, as you can push some smaller creators and, you know, just get some lesser-known games out there. But, um, no. There's little, very little thought they put into this. And the only games that were selected for this were higher-up ones. The high player base is already, so it's kind of pointless to advertise them because they're already well known. And I mean, like, you can have a few of those sprinkled in, but every single one? Gosh, Roblox, you really don't care. And, um, you ran there usually really low effort cash grabs, like this stupid, stupid, okay, Spongebob game. I hate this game. At first when I clicked this, I thought I was going to be Spongebob on an adventure. No. No, okay, let me tell you. This is, um, it's that stupid game where you collect pets and they collect the cash for you and that's it and you just stand there and look at them like... And you're like, oh, he's kinda cute. And that's all you think of the whole time. You just stand there looking at it. Bored. Boring. That's all I can describe it. Also, there's a weird obsession with tower defense style games. There's quite a few of those that they selected for the hunt. And most of the ones on Roblox are lackluster at best. The first one I tried for this event was especially 
slow and boring. I think I aged 20 years while waiting for to complete this quest. It was awful. Point simple blank awful. I I couldn't stand it. It was at that moment when I played that game that I decided no. I'm not. I'm not going to complete the rest of this event. And I'm not going to post a how-to video. I'm going to post a what the heck video. And now there are some better games on the hunt, such as Creatures of Scenario, a personal favorite of mine. These, it really shows the potential some Roblox games have. All it needs is some effort, and it's just, it's a gorgeous game. I suggest it. And also, some creators had a little fun incorporating the event, such as Lumber Tycoon with the giant bird god. I wasn't sure what to expect, okay, with Lumber Tycoon, but the bird god... <laughs> And its sequence to poop out an egg was so funny. I loved it. That was really cute. That was They did a good job on that. However, overall, it is pretty clear this event is just a cash grab and it's not, it's not worth playing the quest. And for the 90 games with the 5 lackluster items and some badges, it's just Roblox using their creators to make themselves a little excessive cash? Roblox, you're making me very upset here. <laughs> and it does claim to be releasing some new content, but I imagine it is just some more games to choose from, and I have little hope, very little hope, that it will redeem this event at all. Some people claim this is better than nothing, but I disagree. All this event does is succeed at making me bored. It is a massive waste of time and money to all the poor souls who put their money into this, who wants those quick rewards. Bless their hearts. And Roblox claimed this was a test to see what people want, you know, in its first trial. Don't be too harsh. I, I disagree. Roblox has had effort in the past, and they've made good content. All this game was was an effort to see how little they can put into an event and how much money they can make from how little they put in. Like, can they really pump a lot of cash for something they spent minutes? Okay, minutes doing. <laughs> now, this format of video is a little different than my usual. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, comment down below your thoughts on this whole event. Do you like it or not? And also comment down your blog. <laughs> Comment down below your thoughts of this style video, and if you'd like to see more of this. I have done about an hour recording on this event, but thought you may enjoy me explaining just how horrible this all is, rather than me making you sit hours of fast-forward, boring gameplay. That is all I have for today. Please feel free to support my other videos. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.